think it's of utmost importance for students to understand that they have links with a very courageous and important and proud past. And if you look at, at communities like North Richmond, there are struggles that took place that uh, got us all to, the, to this point, and we don't give enough credit to that. It is also important for us to remember that when we talk about the history, we are not just talking about a, a little local community, but we're talking about a community with ties to the national currents of change that took place in this society. And for young people to be involved in, in the telling of this story, in the documenting of this story, I think really carries on and maintains that tradition of activism. Before the war, Richmond was a town of about 23,000 people. And in two years' time, it got to 108,000. People had come in from the South, both black and white, who were marginal in the South economically, and had worked in the shipyards and made fabulous money compared with what they'd made in the South. During the height of the 100,000 plus population, uh, most of the blacks lived in public housing. It was either Seaport, Pullman, Harvey Gate, Cutting, South 52nd, uh, a canal. That's where the concentration of blacks were. You have to remember that during the war, North Richmond, it was the only place in which blacks were allowed to buy property uh, in uh, the city of Richmond. Thank you.